So as you guys know, we are stuck here in El Nido in the Philippines for quite a while, and that's because of what's happening with the whole virus situation. But today we're trying to make the best of a bad situation. Yeah, so despite all that, we figured since there are actually boats running, we should take advantage of being here, go on some tours. But today we're gonna do tour A, yep. and we have a private tour. All right, we found these guys again. You know, jumping places, Chris, Carol. You guys excited? Yeah, yeah. very excited. I think it's gonna be a good day. We've we've already done this once before, so we know it's mind blowing. Perfect. You yeah. can be our tour guides. Alright you guys, we've come over to Small Lagoon and uh, as you can see this is absolutely breathtaking. There are tons of like limestone cliffs, it's like the theme of the Philippines and the water is just absolutely spectacular. We're in a four person kayak, we've never done this before, it's pretty cool. Look at the color of the water, it's honestly unbelievable. But right now, I think we have to go through this little hole right here to uh, get to this small lagoon. Alright Chris, got us through. Maybe. You can do it. We're not safe yet. Might have to duck. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Wow, look at this. Wow. Oh my. That is peace right there. I don't know if you can see how many other people are here with us. Mm -hmm. So get, packed. Oh man, we have this all to ourselves right now. As yeah. we said, it's all cleared out because of what's uh, what's going on, but. Wow, like I have to, I'm just blown away by what we're looking at right now. This mm -hmm. is beautiful. The clearest water, you can see straight to the bottom. And just with these cliffs, this is where the camera I know won't do it justice. The cliffs just go straight up, these limestone cliffs. Unbelievable. Philippines, beautiful thing. <laughs> we were just saying, I think our favorite thing about this is just floating here and like looking at the scenery. You can't get over this and this is just, what is it, stop number one, do you know? Stop number one, <laughs> the five? Wow, it's just maybe it gets better from here. Well, we're now at stop number two, and wow, you're gonna hear us sing a lot of wows today. <laughs> this place is called P Payong, Payong, or Bayong, Bayong, or something like that. Yeah, but it's just like a little sliver of white sand, like a beach here, and then there's even more of these um, limestone cliffs that you see everywhere in the Philippines, but it's cool because there's all these openings and, and things like that, water rolling in. It's pretty amazing, it's, and these little caves. Yeah. And uh, by the way, how many other people are here? It's just us. Just, just us. Just the four of us. Just us. We got some beer, but um, we got the wrong kind, I think, huh? We were hoping for regular. <laughs> well, I think we want it's some apple flavor for Carol, yeah. my, my wife, because she doesn't <laughs> like beer, but we got, what, 24 of these? Yeah, 24 flavored apple beer. How is it? You know, <laughs> kind of like you said, it's like candy, I think. It's like candy. It's so-so, but... Uh, too sweet for a beer. Mm, it's gonna have to do the trick today though. <laughs> it doesn't taste like beer at all. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but man, look at this. All to ourselves, you guys. Uh, unbelievable. We're all just standing around here most of the time like shaking our heads and just like wow. Yeah. <laughs> Carol's taking pictures. Yeah, <laughs> How beautiful. So mind, mind blowing. I know look there's these like I call it like almost like a teacup rock. Yeah like a, a James like Bond. Yeah <laughs> it's so cool look at that. I don't know it looks like it'll maybe we'll break off at some point. Huh? Mm -hmm, but it's pretty neat how like the water must just like carve it towards the bottom I guess so it looks like that interesting shape. I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> yeah it's almost like a teacup. Yeah.
Take a look at this, you guys. We just got to Secret Lagoon. Guys, we're just getting off. This is, uh, it's mind-blowing stuff. I can't get over this. All right, we just stopped uh, for lunch on this amazing beach called Secret Lagoon, I Secret think it was. Secret Lagoon, yeah. Right. And uh, we brought some lunch with us. Because it was a private tour, they didn't provide lunch for us. Uh, so we stopped and got some vegetarian burritos. Feeling a little soggy because it's been a few hours, but <laughs> yep. they should do the trick. So Anna mentioned we got some burritos. I'm gonna try it out. You can see I already took a couple bites. It's a little bit mushy, but we watched the guy make it in town. We made sure to give veggie because we figured it would hold up a little better. But um, I'm trying to figure out what's all in here. We saw, we saw lots of fresh veggies when he was making this up. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. There's definitely like peppers, onions. I think there's some, some hummus. And I'm quite certain there's um, like tahini as well. And there's beans and rice that round it out. And the guy asked us if we wanted spicy. And I know you guys know what we said. Of course we said yes. It's really good. Having it in this, uh, this setting, it makes it even better, honestly. So we just switched over to the iPhone and uh, now we're kind of like uh, up to our waist in water. I guess there's something over here at Secret Lagoon. I don't know what we're about to see. Oh, we're about to find out. So you guys can see what's happening. We came to a place where you have to go through this little hole. And I don't know what's on the other side, but people are just kind of lining up here. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, uh, switch over to the iPhone, by the way, if you can't hear us quite as well. That's why, but we were in this, uh, I think it's called the Secret Lagoon. You have to go through a little cave to get there. <laughs> Look at it. Uh, it would have been helpful to bring water shoes. Yeah, definitely water <laughs> shoes. It's quite, the bottom is really rocky and like, it hurts a lot. <laughs> but however, it's worth it for the views in here. As you can see, everything is ridiculously stunning. The limestone cliffs are so big. The what is? The cliffs, cliffs. are just so big the and the color are... of the water. It's like this green, it almost looks milky yeah. in a way, just maybe because of the way the sun is, so it's really neat. I like this place just because you have this like lagoon, but then that beach was pretty cool. Oh yeah, the beach was awesome. <laughs> yeah, palm trees. Yeah, so you get kind of two things at this one stop, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> All right guys, we made it to another spot. You catch the name? Uh, Seven Commando <laughs> Beach. I like it, Seven Commando. Like I wonder if it's like one word and we just don't know what the word is or is it like Seven Commando? I don't know. Here. I thought you said Seven <laughs> Commandments. <laughs> <laughs> we do know there's beer right back here. Well, hopefully there's beer. We're uh, short on that today because we have that apple cider stuff. <laughs> yeah, let's get real beer. <laughs> yes. I can't remember if we already mentioned this, so sorry if it's repetitive, but we're on tour A. Um, but I think they maybe veered off a little bit of the normal thing to take us to, to some emptier beaches. And we also don't have any snorkeling gear, so we kind of skipped that part of the tour. But yeah. otherwise, yeah, it's Torre. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And there's these like little private cabanas here. We're in getting some shade right now. Yeah. And uh, you can see it's gorgeous out there. So one thing I don't think we showed you guys today is the type of boat that we're in. So we're in this style boat. You see these everywhere here in the Philippines. And this is pretty much the scenery that we're coming across all day with these limestone cliffs in this just beautiful, stunning water. Again, we just, the Philippines is just living up to the hype. It's such a beautiful place. So this is a really interesting beach. It's kind of a mix of uh, some locals here, uh, probably just people that live around El Nido, or maybe some of the other islands, I'm not quite sure. And there is some tourists, given everything that's happening, there's still some tourists around. I can't tell up the other side of the, if there's like a resort up there or not, but I, we do like that. This is the first stop here today on Torre where you can actually buy some things if you want to get some water, you want to get a beer, you want to get some uh, just snacks like chips and things like that. So this place, uh, Seven Commando, it's a funny name, this has it. So if you're doing Torre, just remember that. I'm pretty sure it might be the last stop on all of them, but they might have changed up the tour today just because we asked them. We wanted to do some chill things as well. So if they do that and you do Torre, we're sorry. <laughs> but uh, it, this is a really cool spot. If you have the option, maybe to stop here. Chris is over trying to get the drone going.
All right, you guys. Well, I think what we're gonna do is just uh, drink these same Miguel lights and uh, just call it a day. It's yeah, been, it's been a good a day. Bit. It's been fun. We knew a lot about the tours coming in to El Nido. Uh, you know, there's four different tours. I think there might even be more than that. But uh, we watched lots of things. We read um, lots of uh, stuff about the tours as well, and it lived up to the hype. It's absolutely beautiful here. The beaches here are just incredible. Yeah. We had high expectations, but wow. Yeah, wow, and, wow. And, and if you're watching, I mean, and you're wondering why it seems like we have El Nido to ourselves, that is because of the current situation with all the virus stuff that's happening. Mm -hmm. um, if you're watching this now, the video, this video is a little, uh, probably a couple months behind, mm -hmm. uh, and we're stuck here, so. Yeah, and we don't want to also give anybody the, that wrong idea that we're just out here having fun and yeah. ignoring the rest of the world. You know, we're in a, a tough situation, as is everybody, and we're trying to make the best of a really yep. not, <laughs> so, not, not a fun thing. Yeah, we are we are actually stuck here for um, 30 days at the moment. It might be more than that. So we're stuck in paradise. Uh, that is a good thing. We have some friends with us, so mm -hmm. why not uh, take advantage and just do what we can yeah, and uh, get to see the area a little bit. Yeah. So I, uh, you know, I hope the video didn't come across that way. Again, it's, the video is going to be a couple months old, but we're, El Nido is great. If you're watching this even years from now, uh, El Nido is awesome. Make sure you, you come here. So mm -hmm. it's been a good day. If you're new around here, I'm Trevor. That's Anna. Delightful travelers. I don't think we said that. Mm -hmm. Hit the like button. That helps us out. Leave us a comment. We love when we get comments. Hit subscribe. subscribe. Hit the bell. All the regular things. And last week we were um, exploring El Nido. <laughs> And guess next what week. we're going to do next week? Exploring El Nido because yeah. we're stuck here. So. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. From El Nido again, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon. Cheers. Yeah.